Lado says that her father has been stealing from her and believes she's in the Illuminati. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. In a quick Instagram story post, she discussed her relationship with her father while also sharing a story about a happy moment between a father and his pilot daughter. Oh my dad steals from me and tell everyone I'm in the Illuminati, Lado captioned the story with laughing emojis on Wednesday. Social media users expressed confusion about the post, given that the artist had previously defended her father. Since when? I thought she was always big up her dad. I must have missed a season, one user asked on X another wrote, the same dad that saved her from getting beat by Super Peach some years back at some music festival, that dad. One fan brought up her song, No Hook, on which she raps, I came home from school and seen bags, hella drugs. Lost the bond with my daddy for some money and a buzz. Swear the industry the devil, st, it is what it was. Ain't no stranger on the net finna tell me about my life, though. Over the years, Lado has defended her father on several occasions. In 2022, during her feud with Nicki Minaj, she retaliated against claims that her parents' relationship was marked by a significant age difference. She added, loud and wrong again, in response to Minaj bringing up the report. They was both teenagers in high school bookie they still married El Mao. Lato's fanbase and the hip-hop community at large showed a lot of appreciation for her latest album Sugar Honey Ice Tea. However, happiness is stolen by comparison. Moreover, the project's first week sales forecasts, which indicate a number 17 start on the Billboard 200 chart with roughly 27,000 album equivalent units sold, were completely blown away by some of her competing fanbases on the internet, including that of Nicki Minaj and her major rival Ice Spice. Of course, given the Atlanta Femsey's level of awareness, this isn't the worst chart debut ever, but it also isn't creating the kind of massive commercial splash that she and many others had presumably hoped for. Although Lato's rivalries with other female rappers make her and them easy targets for jokes and mockery when things don't go as planned, numbers aren't everything. However, it would be helpful for everyone to keep in mind that, aside from the very top of the game, which is still seeing diminishing returns in comparison to years past, almost all mainstream artists are finding it increasingly difficult to increase their sales figures without an extensive and well-planned industry backing campaign. For instance, Ice Spice's Y2K, which debuted with 28,000 in first week sales at number 18 on the Billboard chart, places both LPs at nearly the same position even though it has around half the duration of Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Rather, longevity and how these femsies and other musicians in the business will either sustain or waste their momentum will really set apart a lot of these albums and stories. Following Lato's declaration that Lil' Kim is the real GOAT, Akbar V is defending her super freaky girl Queen's mix colleague Nicki Minaj, contending that she is the greatest female rapper of all time. Love and Hip Hop alumna took to X to discuss her thoughts on Lato's assertion that the Brooklyn rapper is the most influential woman to have ever picked up a microphone. But like, the GOAT is Lil' Kim. She began by pointing up Kim's prior role as a cultural influencer. Lil' Kim was the GOAT her and Foxy both had they run and did a lot for us female rappers, she began before continuing. So did Eve, Missy Elliott etc. But what about when there was a standstill and no label wanted to sign female rappers? Who came and opened the door and had the longest run in history Nicki Minaj so let's not say Kim is the goat of all time because no DCK grabbing it's at Nicki Minaj. Give that damn girl her flowers when it's due, y'all don't got to FK with each other but keep it a stack. Before realizing the influence of the crush on you rhymer, Lato referred to herself as the greatest during her complex discussion with sister Brooklyn Nicole, declaring Lil' Kim to be the greatest. But like, the goat is Lil' Kim. For sure. A fashion icon, with timeless music, timeless looks, gone forever be a staple, in not only rap, but female rap. And she the goat because she is a queen for real, like, off camera, she a queen I love her, and she big mama, too. It's just a big mama thing, she added in reference to Kim's 1996 track featuring Jay-Z, as well her own record, Big Mama. Kim is the best female rapper in Lato's opinion, but she also mentioned Minaj and her top three back in April. However, after their social media spat, Lato declined to mention Minaj by name. Kim gotta say Kim, Lato told Atlanta's Hot 107.9 radio station when asked about her faves at the time. The Massey left eye rest in peace left eye, and shoddy, with shoddy. Although it was released towards the end of summer, Lato's new album Sugar Honey Ice Tea is a lot of fun to listen to and will definitely be a staple on playlists for the remainder of the year. Though it has only been in our possession for a few hours, fans have already assembled and dissected all the spicier parts of the opulent tracklist. Furthermore, fans discovered several possible subtle and not-so-subtle disses directed towards celebrities like Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj, and Koi Larry during their investigation. Naturally, it's crucial to remember that these images may be about other rappers or the rap industry in general, even while they aren't explicit enough to truly spark a like that style controversy. In any case, the Atlanta Femsey delivered some intense lines, so proceed with caution while speculating. 
Cake settled down in Lado's disparaging comments about an anonymous rapper, for instance. Got these bees waiting for me to drop. No, they probably waiting on me to flop. You was just a fan before you popped. I don't even know you, how we ops. Thousand dollar steak and a BH think we gone beef for free. Lap dog better not think she getting off the leash with me. Also, there are multiple possible references to Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, and Koi Larry on Lado's cut shout out to me. It clearly doesn't matter if you younger or double my age, she possibly spits against Roman. Bye sis, funny thing about it, you can't look me in my eye. Sis and ice is just water when it melts too quite suggestive, but by no means unintentional. Jabs at Big Mama's adversary from the Bronx. Last but not least, don't play coy with me. You know what you headed for, is self-explanatory. As a lot of people have pointed out, these pictures might not be very graphic. On the other hand, it is inconceivable to look at them and conclude that Lado dropped them without knowing exactly what she was doing. Which is more significant, the intention behind these bars creation or the choice to remove them considering their consequences even though people may not have meant them. But don't get too caught up in the supposed dispute. The housekeeping nose singer has a ton more amazing stuff on Sugar Honey Iced Tea. In response to rumors that her first studio album, Y2K, only sold 28,000 copies, Ice Spice has released a statement. Spice expressed her gratitude to her followers on X, which was formerly Twitter, on Monday afternoon. She also mentioned how much she has been enjoying her current tour. She also mentioned that only 15,000 copies of her debut EP, like, were sold. Like, did 15k so thank you to everyone who supported me then and thank you to all the new supporters, Spice wrote. Y2K. World tour been so fun that these numbers are cool and all but BH you should have seen that Boston crowd last night. NYC tomorrow. Fans responded by sending Spice a ton of encouraging notes. Others voiced concerns regarding her purported conflict with Nicki Minaj. Poor baby you could've had a cute 50k debut if you didn't decide to be weird towards Nicki but congrats girly, a fan wrote. Due to the comparatively low sales, more users made fun of her. The project's highest position on the US Billboard 200 was number 18.